bout number two. Right in front of us, we've got Bruce Boynton. He's gonna be taking on Saul Almeida. The biggest discrepancy here is the age, but if you look at the height, little advantage towards Almeida, who even with the four inches weighed in one pound less, he will also have the reach advantage. Alright, you ready, sir? You ready, sir? Let's go fight. An interesting fight. It's already interesting. Right. Look at this stance by Almeida. You get almost a Lyoto Machida-esque karate stance. That's right. hard to deal with, Ray. I, that's very hard to deal with. That guy keeps his head back and his hips forward. Uh, absolutely. And you know, with if this goes to the ground, Almeida definitely has the advantage. He certainly does on paper. Almeida again submitted in his last contest by now world champion, also by the name of Almeida. Oh, Boynton says, I know a little of this stuff Some too. Fancy stuff right here. I like it. I'm nervous. I'm, anything can happen when guys come out like this. We've seen a spinning attack already from each guy. We're not even a minute into the first round. And they've both changed, switched from Southpaw to Orthodox. That was a nice hit. Both guys have slipped once now. Starting to fill out that camp. There's a good fast kick by Bruce. A little follow up on that. Good kicks here by Bruce Ray, no follow-up though. Right, and he's not using his hands to set up those kicks either. And that's exactly what's gonna happen if you get countered like that with a straight right down the middle. There's that long reach of Almeida. This is interesting. I like this contest so far. We're see, we're seeing some interesting techniques. Well, it looks like they've been, they've both been watching uh, Leona Machida a lot. <laughs> yeah, they both have switched their styles up. This is not what we saw last time. All right, here's where it's going to get interesting. It's going to be very telling. That's locked. If Almeida can drag him down to the to the canvas here, he's got him. All right, now right here, Bruce has got a scramble. Yeah. Almeida transitions into a full mount. Well, that was quick. He's got him locked in. Almeida driving that shoulder in. Bruce Boynton not able to budge at all right here. Now Almeida's oh, going to have to transition this position. If he wants to find a finish. I think Almeida's waiting for Bruce to move, and Bruce is waiting for Almeida to move. Right. All right, Almeida has established the position. I'm not I'm not sure, Ray, why he's not letting his hands go and start I'm, to look for something here. Yeah, and I'm waiting for that too. I think um, Bruce is trying to attack Kimura on the other side. He won't be able to finish him from the ground like this, but he might win the position. He, he perhaps will make Almeida roll right. to alleviate some pressure. What, all he's gonna do is bump his hips up and he'll get on top. <laughs> I think he's gonna get there. I think Bruce is gonna come out on top on this. A little balancing game here. I made a good defense hooking the leg like that and Bruce comes out on top. Tricky position with Almeida yep. underneath the leg. Bruce would love to start striking from here. But he's in fear that he'll lose his hip position there. He's trying to get a body lock right here. Boynton now perhaps can get he's some strikes. Almeida looking to reverse this one again. It's a good opportunity for Boynton to just use some strikes. Take the grappling out of it because he's going to lose the position. And there he does. Almeida comes on top. I'm surprised he wants to grapple with Almeida. I thought when he had the opportunity, he would have stepped away and, you know, keep it on his feet. Oh, a body yep. triangle from Almeida. That's where that long six foot right. one frame becomes a problem for the opponent. Almeida
opportunities to keep his hips on attack. Now right here, he could be looking for some strikes, Ray, which will set up the submission. I think he's trying to um, get that decision with that body lock right now, because he's not on top yet. Okay, he's got him now. Boynton doing things right. Oh, okay. Boynton trying to face him. He can turn and face him, it will alleviate the rear naked choke opportunity. With 10 seconds left, keep this wrist control. He's going to survive this round. Right, I see three. This was a pretty technical first round. You know, not, not a lot of damage was done on either side of it, but I enjoyed that round. I like what we saw on our feet. We talked about the karate stance by both guys, some good spinning attacks, and then we got to see the groundwork. I think that round could gain some confidence here for Boynton. He was caught in some pretty bad grappling positions, and he survived. Right. Oh, they both go to kick each other. One run. Almeida comes in, pushes him into the fence. Now right here, we talked about it in the first fight. There's nowhere to sprawl. If you can push your opponent into the fence, lower your elevation to get underneath his hips, you are going to get him down to the mat, which Almeida does. <laughs> Boynton looks for a submission, looks for this Kimura lock. It actually Seconds ends out, up gentlemen. with a reversal. <laughs> he reverses the position from bottom. Let's go, seconds out. And that's where it was surprising because we weren't sure why Almeida was waiting so long, but he was actually on top. That's right. He had his wrist caught, and here we go to round two. All right, round two, you ready? Round two, let's go, fight. Almeida with his hands down. Either confident in his range or not respecting the power. Backs to the cage. I don't know what he was looking for there. He didn't find it. Whatever it was he was looking for, it didn't happen. I think he was trying to look for a stone to throw it. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be helpful. <laughs> Big Dan might have a problem with that, but that would be helpful. Almeida again calling him in. I, I, I don't, I'm not sure what he's looking for. I'm trying to set something up. Boynton needs to be aware of the straight right by Almeida. There's three leg kicks in a row. Almeida coming in for the shot here. If he can push him into the fence, Ray, this will be the same position. Boynton with an underhook. If he can keep his legs spread and keep that underhook, he can stop Almeida here. That looks right. Look how wide Boynton is spreading those legs, really making it difficult. Keeps that underhook. Almeida just loses power there when he's got to spread his arms out. Almeida brace is fought off the double, got him onto a single. Almeida drags him down, but Bruce is head is higher. Whoever's got their head higher has an advantage in a grappling situation. Tell Almeida can get his head above Bruce's, he's not gonna be able to mount an offense. Almeida slowly just stand up. Bruce has an opportunity to, particularly with the cage on that side of him to help him. And Almeida knows it, he's not comfortable yet. Almeida knows he does not yet establish the position he's looking for. Right. You see those long legs starting to climb all over the place. Bruce has got to stand up. He's got to stand up. If he loses this, he's going to give up his back. Bruce coming back with that side wizard. He's got to stand up here. And Almeida's got to pull those hips off the fence. Yep. Tremendous power, scrapper, yeah. tremendous hip control right there by Bruce. He's, now he's back, he's in the same position he just lost a moment ago. He's gonna need to do something yeah, different. Left. Almeida not in any hurry here. Watch back in the head. Watch back he's in got head. an advantage with positions, but he has not, literally, Ray, not landed a single strike. 
Right, I think he's trying to secure that position, but um, Boynton is, you know, continuously attacking from wherever position he's at. It'll be interesting how the judges are, uh, are seeing this. There's not been one strike landed or even attempted by Almeida in this round. Again, with this double wrist lock, again with this Kimura by Boynton. That's the disadvantage that Almeida has with having long right. arms and limbs. There's a lot more there to grab. Right. Almeida in the full mount. I've never seen a guy who has the full mount in danger of being Kimura. No, I haven't seen that either, but I think it's because Almeida's head is so far over this way, rather than trying to center his body, especially on the mount. And he's still in a pickle here. Almeida's got to get this arm free. Again, he's not in jeopardy of being submitted. And we saw him lose position in the first round. Now he's got a full mount, but again, okay, there was okay. literally the first strike he's thrown right. in this round. It's to be very interesting. See, again, I'm trying to understand why he, you know, his body's over here and his head's way over on the other side. But Ray, what would a judge say? What would a judge say in this position? Look, we get it, Almeida has the position. He's also thrown and landed one shot in the round. All right. Look, he's... And he is still at one shot for the round. I don't know what a judge is gonna say here. I have a feeling they, they're they gonna, I think that I would give it to Bruce. I would give this round to Bruce. But positioning does, there was a second shot if you want to call it that. Well, it's a very tough fight to score to be honest. Right. A total of five punches thrown by Almeida. Four of them landed. He had position. I'll be very curious what the judges say there. Let's listen into Almeida's corner, see if we can gain some insight. Hold this water. When you want it, you drink it. Calm down. Slow down. Now let's listen to Boynton's corner. Well, it sounds like the his corner is saying that you need a finish to finish to win this fight. And they could be right. Position right. usually does trump everything else. I just don't know that it always should. Right. Historically, that is what judges look for. Strikes do matter, though. Now, I will say, Mark Delagrati said something very interesting to Sal, uh, Sal Almeida. He said, slow down. Hey, somebody close that gate. Well, for a guy that only threw five punches and landed four in a round, I'm not sure we could <laughs> slow down any more than that, but that was the advice. Three. Ready? Ready? Coach Delagrati. I'm still a little bit lost in the control that Almeida had, whether he was on top or not. And this is where Boynton should be like right on top of him. He's got to come at him. He's right. had some good success in the striking. Forget about the fancy stuff, Bruce. He's got to get in there and just, you know, rough it up. Touch sort of, him. Yeah, exactly. Start Four punches. touching him. Boynton needs to scramble here. There's no reason to concede this position. Only one leg is trapped. When he comes to the fence, he doesn't want to have his head on it, Ray. He wants to have his back on it. If he can get his right. back to the fence, he can climb up it. When it's his head, he's trapped. But once again, position to Almeida, strikes to Boynton. Right. Watch the back of it. There you go. Big Dan, our referee, tells Boynton to be careful with the strikes, not to land in the back of the head. That is illegal to hit the back of the head. Big Dan, one of the best in the business. Now, Almeida gains a little elevation here, but again, Ray, he is not thrown. I'm not saying he hasn't landed. I'm saying he hasn't even thrown a strike. Right. And he was in that perfect position to actually throw a couple of punches. Meanwhile, 
Cruz throwing and connecting with everything he can. We saw some great hands. We're seeing some elbows. It does one punch him out, baby. And the thing is, the more punches out made that throws him on top, it will slow Bruce down a little. And it will open things up. If you're right. looking for a submission, I believe Almeida is. The strikes can lend, lend a hand there, but he's pretty complacent. Almeida taking the back. He doesn't have a hook in here. He's going to look to throw his legs in over the top. Bruce. Bruce spinning this off pretty well. If, if, okay. Body triangle changes things a little bit here for Almeida. Right. He kind of locked with Almeida a bit because he's spinning all these positions, but he's not seen, he doesn't seem like he's attacking a lot. Like, I don't see him going for a rear naked choke. I don't see him trying. Yeah, excellent point. You know, the rear naked choke is the number one submission from this position, and he's right. not looking for it. Now, Bruce, excellent defense by Bruce. He's starting to turn. Yeah, You're caught in that body triangle. It's hard to make your opponent let go, but if you can turn and face him, you can shut down a few of his options. You're susceptible to strikes, but as we've seen from Almeida, he's not too interested in throwing no. strikes. If Bruce can get one more good turn here, he's going to end up on top. And right now, you would think Almeida would be like, Trying to get on top again. Bruce is going to end up on top of this yep. position. Now he's got to use it. He's been happy to strike all night. This is the real position to do it from. Bruce needs to push his hips in, get his head a little bit high. Now there, right here, right, right here, you see some good strikes. Right. These have to be scoring with the judges. Almeida looking for a heel hook. He, he kind of lost the heel. He may have it now. Nope. Bruce needs to be thinking about position, though. Get back on top. Get back on top if you can. Bruce wanted to kick him. He can do that as long as he doesn't hit the head. Bruce has to do here with the cage not working against him, should he be caught in a heel hook, is roll. Perfect. Perfect step over by Bruce. Yes. Now it's Almeida's move. Almeida's right. got to do something. Right. Get that leg out of this. Excellent patience this entire fight by Bruce. Absolutely excellent patience because he has been caught in some rough position. Almeida here must not feel the choke because he's not he's not going to the hands, he's not wrist fighting. He right. must not have his throat caught in there. No, his, his head's not side on to Bruce. Bruce doesn't have it. It's still a real hard one to score. I will tell you, I give that to Bruce Boynton. The strike count wasn't even close. It was Bruce. Positions largely dominated, particularly in that second round by Almeida. But he did not do very much with it. I don't right. know what the judges are going to say. I say I, Bruce Boynton. I don't know what to say. That's a tough one. It's very rare that a guy has that many dominant positions, Ray, and does nothing, nothing with, with it. it. Exactly. There was no ground or pound. There was no attempt of any submissions. Yeah, it was, it was weird. It was hard. It's, yeah, it was really hard to kind of judge which one, which way the judges would go. I'm gonna keep trying. Get back up. Boom. Oh, Bruce still has a little energy left. Well, I guess Bruce was confident enough with his ground to, you know, uh, grapple with uh, Almeida. I thought he would have tried to keep that fight more standing. Commission has got the scores. They're handing them to Jazz. We're about to find out in a moment here. But I'm going to go against the grain and say it goes to Bruce Boynton. Ladies and gentlemen, after three 
rounds of professional fighting, we go to the judges' scorecards, and they have given us a split decision. Judge Eric Clone scores a 27-30, Almeida. Judge Dave Peabody scores a 29-28 for Boyington. And Judge Sue Sanadad scores a 29-28 for your winner by split decision, Pretty Boy Bruce Boyington. So the strikes, <laughs> the strikes did matter, Ray. right? They were paying attention. Excellent job by the judges. We saw 30-27 there the other way. I really agree with this. The strikes mattered. While Almeida had position, and judges do tend to favor that, 